Well, hi everyone and welcome to my new series. Let's talk about things with Dr. Bob. Well, let's start things off by telling you a little bit about me. When I was about eight years old, growing up in South Florida, I came to the realization that I wanted to be a physician after spending about two weeks in the hospital with a bout of pneumonia. During that time, I saw what doctors and nurses did and it kind of struck me as appealing. In high school, I took a lot of science classes, got good grades, and by the time I went to college, I began training as an emergency medical technician. That's actually 19-year-old me on the left on a rescue call back in 1982. After a stint in the Army as a medic, I returned to college and studied biology in preparation for going to medical school. I was able to get in and graduated back in 1992. I uh, then went to a residency training for internal medicine, and I've been in practice ever since. My specialty is internal medicine. I also have a strong interest in pain and addiction medicine and alternative health care. My motivation for starting this series is manyfold, but the main one is, is that medicine has changed a great deal in the last 35 years. It's become much less personal. When I was growing up, our physician was a family friend. I had many house calls, everything from chicken pox to one time I ate some tile glue and glued my jaw shut. Back then, a physician knew all of his patients because he maybe had several hundred of them. He could remember their potassium levels and their last x-ray results just off the top of his head. Then the insurance companies got involved and the doctor's caseload went from several hundred patients, which were manageable, to several thousand, which tied us to the chart room in our offices. Due to the sheer paperwork involved, house calls just went by the wayside. Then came the internet and the electronic medical record. As a result, I was able to bring my entire office chart room with me on my laptop computer. I started doing house calls again. Fortunately, by then, not only had medicine changed, so had physicians. It seems that most were more interested in working set hours at the office than having the opportunity to care for another patient. It seems the time and the inclination to do house calls were gone. Many of my colleagues told me that for every house call they did, they could see five patients in the office. I just smiled and realized that for every house call I did, I got 20 new patients. Another consequence of this modern, less personal form of medicine is that patients felt that their doctors never really talked to them. My personal feeling is that patients do better when they understand their condition and work with you to help treat it. Unfortunately, this emphasis on patient education seems to be sorely lacking in modern health care. That was my motivating factor to doing this series. I think that each episode should highlight a particular medical condition, a common one, one that people have questions about. Our first one is going to be diabetes. Each episode will go over the condition on a layman's level to make sure that all questions that I've been asked on this condition in the last 30 years are answered in a 15-minute video. Talks will be general in nature. I'm not taking on your care for your condition. I'm not replacing your physician. If you have additional questions or ones that are specific to you, the best person to discuss this with is your physician or your health care provider. The emphasis is going to be on what the condition represents. What's its natural history? What are the signs and the complications? We'll discuss the monitoring and the treatment. We can talk about treatment strategies and even things you can do to help. These are all things that you can discuss with your physician or your provider. Topics that we're going to cover, uh, obviously we're going to do diabetes first, but we'll also talk about high blood pressure and heart disease, pain management and addiction, hepatitis C, high cholesterol and cardiovascular risk factors, thyroid disease. I'll also be taking questions from the comments on things people want to go over. Feel free to drop me a comment and make sure you do a like and subscribe on the channel. Now we may also delve into alternative medicine a little bit. We use a cold laser in my practice for pain management, which is kind of interesting, and I'd like to share some information on that with you. As much as I would like to, I am not going to talk about medical cannabis because I don't think YouTube would appreciate that very much. I will, however, respond to messages and possibly comments. And once again, if you have a specific comment or a question you'd like me to address in this field, 
let me know. If I can answer it, I will. If not, maybe I'll at least point you where you need to go. Now there are a few things that I'm not going to be covering. Uh, first and foremost is going to be cancer. I just don't have enough expertise in that uh, to deal with all the different forms of cancer and all of the current therapies of cancer. You really need to see a specialist or an oncologist about that. And while I may briefly discuss vaccinations in this series, I am not going to be dealing with anti-vax issues. In fact, I have an entire series on vaccinations in the anti-vax movement, so if you have questions in that field, go there. Same thing goes with the other issues that I address on my channel. Now, as I said, our first episode will be out in a few days and we'll cover diabetes. When that's available, I'll put a link to that video in the description of this one. After that, I'm going to do a pretty thorough description of hypertension or high blood pressure. Depending on what's going on, I'll either do another one from my list or maybe address a viewer uh, suggested topic. In the meantime, I want to thank you for stopping by. Make sure you hit like and subscribe to the channel, and I look forward to talking again soon. This is Dr. Bob. Take care.